I think the term and the identity of alcoholic is really pretty toxic. I think that the reality is that that term has not been really medically or scientifically defined. It was not created in the medical or scientific community. It was kind of a, a term that was very just in the narrative. We call it medically alcohol use disorder. But the problem with it is that what is believed by us humans about this term alcoholic is what you just said. Once you are one, you are always one. What that means is you have to abandon life as you know it. You have to go to meetings for the rest of your life. You are broken, you are diseased, you are abnormal, you can't drink in safety. And so the fear inherent in that term prevents change because people become unwilling to, if, if that's my choice, and I, I, this was my own personal experience, if, if it is my choice to say I'm an alcoholic and therefore I can change this, or to say I'm not an alcoholic, I'm going to just keep drinking. I actually had a friend who she went to AA, she got sober. And I was like, what about my drinking? I drink with you all the time. And she goes, Annie, I learned I was born this way. I'm an alcoholic. You're not. I didn't even think about changing my drinking despite pain for six more years after that conversation. And I think it predicates a rock bottom. I think that it creates an negative emotion, which is completely now proven to be contrary to lasting behavior change. And so I speak out against that term sort of whenever I can to much chagrin from the recovery community.